and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be putting together my third layout using the Breathe Story Kit from Allie Edwards for Story Kit Crush. This time my story is going to be one about my son Jonah that's going to live inside of his story album. For this one I was inspired by just the sentiment breathe or this just breathe. Um, one of the things that we've been working on here with him is getting through those tantruming type of moments with him by sitting down and intentionally breathing together. And I thought that that would be a really great story to tell with this kit and uh, just something that's really, really like a, a truth about what life is like right now for him and parenting him and, and all of that kind of stuff. So what I've got is I've got a six by eight piece of white cardstock that I've gone ahead and added my journaling to. I'm also going to be using the acrylic piece, this Just Breathe journaling card, a chipboard piece, and then I have pulled out six out of, I think there were nine total, but six of these squares, which are roughly two by two. They're a little bit smaller than a two by two, um, maybe like 1.875-ish by 1.875 or something in that nature. Actually, I could probably, they might even be 1.75 by 1.75. Anyways, because I wanted to use a bunch of these, I thought it would be a really awesome idea to stick them inside of a two by two page protector and have the opposite squares be photos of Jonah um, potentially breathing in and breathing out and just having him do a little photo shoot with me. So that's what we did. We did a photo shoot and we got a wide variety of pictures of different facial expressions and um, <laughs> lip, lip positions and all of that kind of stuff. And I thought that that was really fun to have all of these different expressions inside of that page protector. So what I'm going to do, uh, actually, you know what, we won't even bother speeding this up because I think this is going to be really quick to put together. So I've got the photos and the squares that I'm going to add into the page protector. For this side, I do want to cut down this journaling card just a little bit, like maybe, Oh gosh, maybe like, what do I want to do here? So I'm thinking maybe I want to cut it this way to the two and a half, or sorry, three and a half inches. Let's try that first. Okay, so if we do three and a half inches and we put that on here, then it's going to go right to my text. So let's actually do it a little bit more than that. Plus I feel like I did that crooked. So let's go... Um, Maybe, maybe here. Okay, let's try that. So it's just slightly less than it was. Okay, that's better. Now the question is, do I want to add a strip of black? I've got some scrap pieces of black here that I can use to test what that would look like. Here they are. So if I put black here, and I could just use these scrap pieces, um, I don't think I want the black. So we're gonna leave that off and not do that. Let's put everything back in this pocket over here. Okay, so what I want to do, and this is gonna go up above and I'm totally fine with that. So first, let's get this adhered down onto the journaling page. I'm going to use my double-sided adhesive. Okay, and then this is going to go at the top of that journaling page like so. Okay, and then this piece, I want to add some adhesive to the bottom of it so that any of the pieces that poke out do not have adhesive on them. And I think I'm going to position it like right here. So it says breathe, just breathe. That's probably good. Okay, so we'll squish that down. And then I have this chipboard and this is going to help ground everything because right now there's a lot of white text on there. This is black with some blue writing on it that I thought would be good to put here. Okay, so we've got breathe, 
just breathe. And now, again, I'm kind of considering considering putting a, just a tiny strip of black. Okay, let me grab some, let me grab some um, black paper real quick and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here is a piece of black and I'm just going to cut this down like real thin, like a quarter of an inch thin. And then, cause maybe that other one was just too thick and it made it look weird. Cause now I feel like that looks good to have that there. So let's do it. Let's add some adhesive here. Okay, let's get the excess off of my mat. All right. Then I just wanna add this to the bottom of that blue and we'll trim it off. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it needed that. <clears throat> All right, so then the opposite side is going to be these photos and little cards. So let's kind of position these where I think they're going to go best. So maybe that. Okay. And then these, some of them have sentiments. Some of them have patterns. Okay. I think maybe that. I'd also like to put something in the middle of that circle and I'm thinking a cork heart since that's what came in the kit, but I already used all the cork hearts. So let me grab out some more that I've got. I have a whole bunch of these inside of my one little word product. Yeah, see, like I think that looks really cute right there. So let's grab my adhesive. We'll add some adhesive to the back. Stick this down in the middle of that circle. And then that is that. So then the last thing I need to do is date stamp this with today's date, the date that I'm actually documenting this. And I think I'm going to stick it right underneath this chipboard. Since we've got this stuff that interacts all the way to the top, I feel like it's okay to have that totally filled in. Um, that it almost felt weird to not have anything down here when this is going off the edge. So that helps. I think that visually helps. Okay, so that, friends, is my layout. So very, very simple, quick and easy to put together, especially once, you know, the design was made. One of the things I'll do when I go to work on the back side of this page is I will print whatever photos I use or journaling at the 1.75 by 1.75. So then the space around the outside of the squares will maintain that transparent element to them, right? So there's gonna be a little bit of transparent or transparency going through to the next page. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how this one came together. And if you did, I would love a thumbs up on this video down below. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to, to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future crafty videos. Let's go ahead and read the journaling for this one. It's a bit on the longer side. Um, so I suppose just bear with me here for a minute. So with this one, breathe, just breathe. The toddler years are certainly not easy and we knew we were going to have our hands full with you at this stage in life. You are strong-willed, independent, and bold. All fantastic qualities to have and also difficult sometimes to parent. That's especially true right now when you don't get your way. You are in the tantruming three-year-old stage. The time of life when you are pushing boundaries, seeing just how far you can go before getting a no, and struggling with coming to terms with disappointment. Like lots of kids your age, you scream and cry and throw yourself down on the ground. 
This usually doesn't help your situation and certainly doesn't get you what you want. It's during these moments of upset and outbursts that we work together to calm down by following the same technique. I get down on my hands and knees with you. I have you look me in the eyes and I look right back at you as calm and in as calm and relaxed a way as possible. Then I tell you to breathe with me. Take a deep breath in and blow all the air back out. Take a deep breath in and blow all the air back out. I'm always amazed at how quickly this practice calms you and me down. You are able to relax your body and quiet the sobs. I'm able to cool my temperature and remember that you are just a toddler dealing with disappointment. We continue breathing together until we can calmly talk about it. You are usually still bummed, but we can both move on from the upset and think of something different to do together. I think no matter how old we are, no matter how big or small our problems are, if we can just remember to take deep breaths in and out, we can get through anything. Um, all right, so there we go. There is my story about calming techniques with a three-year-old, <laughs> definitely, and calming techniques with a 34-year-old as well. <laughs> All right, friends, well, this is the last process video layout I have for this kit in particular. Next Monday, I'm going to be back here again, but I'm going to be sharing a flip through of all the layouts I've created this month using the Breathe Story Kit. And as a spoiler alert, there will be 10 in total layouts that will be shared. A few of them where the process videos are over on Patreon, the three that I did here, for YouTube and then five additional that I do not have any type of process video for, just ones I worked on off screen to use up the product and get stories told. I will also be back on Friday with the newer Story Kit Crush um, kit. So be sure to keep an eye out for that one. And Wednesday is our Wednesday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time working on Project Life. So lots of things in the works for this week. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week ahead and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye friends.